In this video, we're going to talk about how to create an XY scatter chart. And so as you can see here in the first column, column A, we have the X values. And in the second column, column B, we have the Y values. And this video might be helpful for you if you're writing a lab report and you need to make a graph of your data. And so we're going to talk about how to do that. So what you need to do is select these two columns and then type in or rather click insert and look for the scatter chart which you could see here it says insert scatter x y or bubble chart let's click that and then there's different chart styles that we can choose we can choose this one if we just want the points we can choose a line with the points or just a straight line and so there are some options that we can use but I'm gonna choose the scatter with the smooth lines and the points on it as well so let's move this to the right and if you click this button here you'll get a list of chart elements so I'm gonna include the axis titles and then data labels you can choose that if you want to click in this arrow you can put it at the center the left the right above the line below the line or you could choose a data call out so I'm gonna choose to the right Now, let's go to grid lines. If you want to add more grid lines, like the primary horizontal grid lines and the primary, uh, the minor vertical grid lines, you can do so. Or you could just take it off completely. But I'm going to leave it on. And then we could select the legend. Now, we really don't need this because we only have one line. But if you had like two or three lines, then you may want to keep the legend. But I'm going to take it off. Next, I'm going to add the trend line. So if I click this, I'm going to select a linear trend line because I have a straight line. And then once you select, well, let's click more options. So this is going to come up. And then I can click this button, display the equation on a chart, and display the R value. So let's move that here. Because sometimes you may need to write a linear equation for your data, and you may need to calculate the R value, which tells you how X and Y correlate to each other. But let's get back to that soon. So let's leave that there. And then if you want to, you can name the chart title. Let's call it Y versus X. And then for the horizontal axis title, let's type in X values. And if you want to, you can resize it by highlighting it and then right click it. Or even if you don't right click it, this will come up. You can make it size 11. You could change the color to red. You can bold it, italicize it. There's a lot of things you can do. So now let's change this title. And let's call it the Y values. And so that's a simple way in which you can edit uh, your graph. And of course you have the options here that you can choose if you want to. So let's close this mini window let's get back to what we have here now let's see what else we can do here if you click the middle button you can change the chart style if you want to and so there's a lot of things you can do let's select this one it looks a little different and then if you select color you can adjust the color of your graph let's make it let's keep it blue now another way you can adjust the color is if you go to page layout colors and then there's more colors that you can select as you can see the colors are changing so this gives you more options uh, if you want to take advantage of it let's go with red and now let's change the chart style to something different Let's go to that. And so that's what you can do if you want to uh, uh, change the picture of your graph. Let's leave it like that. Let's move this to the side. Now, another way in which we can calculate the slope and the y-intercept is we can use the slope and y-intercept functions. 
You can see it here, though. The slope is 20.036. It's the number in front of x. And the y-intercept is 0.2143. And we have our r-squared value as well. But here's another way in which you can calculate the slope. So type in equal slope parentheses. And notice that it says you need to select the known y values. So highlight this column. And then press comma. Now highlight the known x values. And then close your parentheses. So notice that we get the same slope, but this answer is more accurate. 20.036 is the rounded answer of 20.0357. Now, to get the y-intercept of your linear function, type in equal intercept parentheses, and then just like before, select the known y values, then press comma, and then select the known x values, and there you go. So 0.1, I mean 0.214285, that's the more accurate answer compared to 0.2143. So that's the y-intercept. Now, to get the r value, you can type in equal corel, the correlation function, and then select the y values and then the x values. And so we get 0.9999925826. Now, if you want to get the r squared value, which is the number that's displayed, on the graph, we need to square the information found in cell B13. But I'm going to put that in parentheses, B13, <laughs> I said that wrong, B13, and then type in shift 6, hold it at the same time, you get this little arrow, so that's for the exponent, and then 2 to square it. And so we get 0 0.99985, which rounds to 0 0.9999 if you round it to four decimal places. And so using the trend line and displaying the equation and the R value on the chart will give us the rounded answer. Or you can do it this way if you want a more accurate answer. So that's it for this video. That's how you can uh, graph an XY scatter chart, add a trend line equation to it, and get the slope, the Y intercept, and the R values as well. Thanks for watching. You know what? Before I end this video, it might be wise for me to go over how to make a XY chart with two or even three lines. So let's talk about how to do that. So let's make an extra or new column for the Z values. And let's say the numbers are 9 9.5, 18.6, 29.3, 39.7, 48.2, 59.6, 71.3, and 84.2. And let's make up another one. Let's call it T values. Let's say it's 15.2, 29.3, Let's say 56.4, 67.1, and so forth. So now let's select these four columns and then click insert charts and let's choose the same type of graph. So as you can see this time we have three different lines. So let's click the chart and let's I was looking for that button Let's put in the axis titles. The legend, I want to move that to the right. It looks better that way. And let's change the color. Let's see if we should change the chart style. Let's change the color first. So since I don't see the colors I want, in this case blue, I'm going to go to page layout, select colors. And let's go with, I want a mixture of colors. This is good. So I'll go with blue, red, and green. So now we can adjust the chart title. Let's call it graph one. Let's get rid of this. And then the axis titles will be, let's 
call it x values. And for the vertical axis title, let's just call it values. Now the next thing I want to show you is how to edit the series name. So if you click it, and then if you click this button, you'll see this option comes up. And then if you go to values, let's say if you click this button here, you can adjust the name. So you could replace it with Y values. And let's do the same for the other one. So if we click this little button here, edit series for series two, and then type in, that's going to be the T values. You could change the name. Let's delete this graph. Now, if you select the entire thing, because we didn't do that before, Excel will automatically put the name for for the different series. So the blue line is for the Y values, the red line is for the Z values, the green line is for the T values. And so you could do it like that too if you want to. And then let's put the legend on the right. And then let's add a trend line to it. Not that type of trend line, but let's go to more options. So let's select it for the Z values. And let's display the equation on the chart and the R squared value. So that's for the Z values, which I'm going to put on the left side. Now let's do the same thing, but for the T values. So let's go to more options. Display equation on chart. And so this is what we need for the T values. So we have it for the Z values and for the T values. Now once you have the equation for your T values, your Z values, and everything you need, you probably don't want it to be displayed any longer on this graph. So we can get rid of it. And if we click this plus button and just simply deselect the trend line option, we can get rid of all of that once we write the information that we need. And so that's basically it for this video. And now you know how to create an XY uh, scatter chart using Excel. And you also know how to create uh, multiple uh, scatter charts for this type of uh, situation in case you have like, if you want two or three lines, you know how to do it now. Thanks for watching.